What is most important in cornering? Most important thing in cornering is the months leading up to it. I do have guys coming in and you know from different schools and they arrive on the door and they say, I've got a fight in three weeks. Can you train me for it and corner me for it? No, I cannot. We will not have formed a bond, a relationship in that period of time. And on the flip side, I have guys that I'm training, that I'm coaching for years, and a fight will come up and they'll go, oh, I can't take that fight because you're already away. And I go, no, 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 you can't take that fight. All the work is being done. What I do on the night, and I believe cornering can be exaggerated in, in a lot of things that I read. There's no magic formula. There's no, you know, nothing is said during the night that will completely change everything around. The work is done in the gym. And that can't be avoided. It can't be faked. I can't take on somebody for a week and honestly stand in their corner and honestly know that person's strengths, weaknesses. Know, did they pick up an injury two months ago that I've got to be aware of during the contest? In between rounds, you've got crucial seconds to try to get something across. Are they questioning you when you're talking about that or do they fully believe you? Do they even understand your tone of voice yet? Have they been around you long enough for that? So yeah, the, the truth is no magic formula, no, ma no magic pill. It's a, rela it's, a, it's a somewhat, I believe, sacred relationship that is, that is formed honestly over months of time. Well done, Good well done. Ready. Just nice, easy breathing. He's putting so much into every punch and kick. He's wearing himself out. Look how easy this takedown was in. So in the next round, same again. Just keep up the pressure. Let him throw heavy. You're just going to catch him on your hands moving away. And then do what you're doing. Pressure him to the fence and start your takedown sequence. Yeah. You're looking great. Let's go. Coach. You're Let's looking go. great. He's Let's getting very tired over there. He thought he was going to kill you in a minute. Yeah. Look, getting tired over there. Just be careful when you go backwards, hands high. Because yeah. he's going bop, 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 head kick. Okay, yeah. Okay. Fast, there we go. Well, nice, well, easy. Let's do it. Let's go, That's easy, bread. Regular tape. Regular you won that round. That's our round. And he lost a point. All right. Okay, same again, brother, same again. Now, and all that's been done, and we, we have that relationship, then on the night, I believe less is more. I see sometimes, uh, even backstage, guys are going out and they're learning techniques. That's insane right away. <laughs> if you don't know how to do an arm bar from guard on the night, you're not gonna learn it on the night. So forget trying to teach techniques backstage. Then during the contest, just constantly screaming constantly shouting. It's easy to do that. I've certainly done it myself sometimes. You can get caught up in the moment and you're just talking the whole time, but it's their fight now. And I have a small ritual I have that when I sit in the corner, I get myself into posture, I take a deep breath, and I go, I did everything that I could. Now it's their fight. Let them be. Let them enjoy their contest. Let them enjoy their moment. Um, less is more. Don't say too much during the round. In between the rounds, usually just one thing to be careful of and one thing that's working well and besides that i try to bring down the heart rate to get them back in the moment <clears throat> and remind them they're ready for the next round and that's that's a roundabout it well done well done just recover listen you sparred the hardest hitting southpaw in the world for a year this guy's got nothing on that just make sure you're moving Move away from his power side, okay? So moving to your left, if you want to shoot, look, punch, shoot. Everything else perfect. Look, right hand, and shoot. On the ground, just stay ear to ear. Again, two, three people, and quick, tell him what he's doing wrong with the kickboxing. Well, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta move that way. Wrestling, what about him? Well, there's a single leg there, you gotta finish that single leg this way. Jiu Jitsu guy, well, well, on the ground, just be careful of giving up the other way. Come on. I, I would challenge anybody that's going with that approach, get yourself into the red zone, as McGregor Fast will say. Get, get the heart rate up there, hold it up there for minutes, punch, get punched around a few times, adrenaline, crowd screaming. Try and take in all that. You're not going to. You're not going to. There's just no way. Um, I don't think it's all that necessary that a coach has fought, but I do think when they have, they get that somewhat, almost instinctively. And so, yeah, 
don't, I, I don't, I don't try to, and I don't say too much on the knife. Get to the fence! Hoist to the fence! Keep that head high now. You can go for the back here. He's going to show his knees. Knee. Little knees here, Costi. Fifteen seconds. Give me some shots to finish. Posture up, Costi, and throw. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. It's it's done completely from a good place. The coach are trying to get them everything on the night. You know, you, you're backstage and you see them, the jab is a bit wrong. Oh, no, 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 you're trying to fix this. And, and of course, all that's done from a good place. They're, um, their own nerves are kind of taking control of them and they're, you know, you want, you want the best for your student. You want the best for your fighter. Absolutely. But it's too late. It's done. Whatever, whatever you're going to have learned, you've learned. So yeah, I, I just think, you know, trying to win the fight on the night. The result is, the result is there. It's already decided. The gods have decided already. So you're just there just to try to keep them calm or bring them up. It depends on the, on the fighter. Some need to be brought up in excitement levels you know deal with the backstage stuff is there ice in the bucket does the hand wrap man has he has he done a good job deal with the promoter you know you're happy with your place on the card and so on it's those type of things that's that's what's really happening tonight and then all importantly when the fight's over and uh maybe bringing them down a little bit if they won or bringing them up a little bit if they've lost and uh, making sure that they got some heavy headshots that you're you, you get them looked after you get the medics to look after them you keep an eye on them during the night yeah, you know, that, that, they're, they're the jobs that are important. Winning the fight during the fight, trying to quickly call out some crazy combination or... No, I, I, don't, I don't really believe that's, that's a major part of Conley. See you, bro. His power is going, Nico. Getting very tired. Nothing there! Nothing there! All day! All day that's your position! Bro, die! Oh! Good! As soon as you can, Nico! That's it! Escape the leg first and then up! Nothing there! Nothing there, Nico! Escape the leg, come on! That's your position. Bellissimo! Bro! What a man! What a man! Ah. Well done! Yes! Yes!